I went and shut myself in a room for two years doing paper rounds to buy strings and things like that. Came out at the end of the two years and immediately joined the Who. Born May 19th, 1945 in London, Pete Townsend is the co-founder, guitarist, vocalist, and principal songwriter of The Who, one of the most influential rock bands of the 1960s and 70s. His aggressive playing style and poetic songwriting techniques have earned him critical acclaim. At a time when he hoped he'd die before he got old, he apparently had yet to discover the joys of serious motoring. Some 50 years later, the musician, singer, songwriter and author seems quite content in his older age, and it's tempting to conclude that one of the reasons for his change of heart has been his ongoing passion for cars. Today, we're taking a look at the car collection of the legendary Pete Townsend. Let's begin. Nineteen thirty-five, Packard Hearse. In the very early days of the Who, back when Townsend was an art school dropout, he purchased a Packard Hearse for around thirty pounds. Townsend kept the Hearse parked in front of his apartment, which was within sight of Buckingham Palace. One day, his Hearse mysteriously vanished from its usual parking spot. Pete later figured out that the Queen had ordered it to be impounded as she considered it to be an eyesore. Or at least, that's the myth. He may have just been illegally parked, but the Queen ordering it to be towed sounds more rock and roll. Either way, Pete couldn't afford the £250 recovery fee and was forced to commute by train. However, it may have been a blessing in disguise as Townsend used his time commuting by train to write some of the Who's most iconic song lyrics. 1956, Lincoln Continental, Mark II. This classic Lincoln was one of the early luxuries Townsend bought himself when the Who began their rise to success. Sometime in 1964, Townsend picked up a young hitchhiker and they began talking cars. Pete told him he was looking for an old Yank, British slang for an American car. The hitchhiker explained that his father was a car dealer and had a black 1956 Lincoln Continental Mark II for sale. At the time, the Continental was a favourite among rock stars, including bandmate Keith Moon, who famously drove his Lincoln Continental into a hotel pool during a wild birthday party celebration. 1970, Mercedes S600 Pullman. When it was launched in 1963, the colossal Mercedes 600 became the most expensive car in the world. The giant automobile had the combined qualities of an old race car with the classic characteristics of the traditional Landolet. This unique automotive treasure was traditionally used to transport world leaders and heads of state. Based on the Mercedes long wheelbase W100 chassis, Pete's was a special six-door version that included a seat bench in the rear and additional fold-out seats. Pete loved the 600 so much, he saved up for five years to be able to afford one. 1966 Jaguar E-Type. Back in the mid-1960s, Townsend owned a green Jaguar E-Type. He was so besotted with his Jaguar that he even wrote a song about it. The imaginatively titled Jaguar was a demo that finally appeared on an extended version of the remastered album The Who Sell Out. Released in 1995, the song even included Jaguar's slogan, Grace, Space and Pace. 1972. Ferrari 365 Daytona Spider.
Eric Clapton can be blamed for Pete Townsend's Ferrari purchases, as old Slowhand whispered in his pal's ear about the perfection of the prancing horse for years. Being half deaf, Townsend didn't always hear what Clapton was saying, but eventually he got the message. And for his 60th birthday, Townsend treated himself to a special right-hand drive Daytona Spider. Townsend's came in blue metallic paint and featured Chroma Barani wire wheels. When it was first advertised for sale in the Sunday Times, Townsend was the first to arrive, and we can only assume he was one happy jack after snapping it up. 1980, Ferrari 400i convertible. Keith Richards had a 400i in 1983, but Townsend beat him to the punch when he snapped one up in 1981. Pete's 400i was ordered through H.R. Owen Ferrari of London. Owen had the car sent to E.G. Autocraft for alteration, as Townsend wanted a convertible. The 400i was considered Ferrari's entry-level V12 and was the first Ferrari to be offered as an automatic. In recent years, it's become something of a cult classic, while remaining fairly affordable, at least by Ferrari standards. 1997, Ferrari 456 GTA. The name 456 is derived from the fact that each cylinder displaces 456 cubic centimetres. This was the last Ferrari to use this type of naming convention. Despite its supercar performance, the 456 has a relatively unstressed engine, which has proven to be very reliable. Introduced in August 1996, it proved popular with drivers who loved the car's shape, but wanted the easy life. With a top speed of 185 miles per hour, it became the world's fastest production automatic. The dark metallic green 456 GTA was delivered new to Townsend in 1998. 1999, Ferrari 550 Maranello. After selling his 400i, Townsend wanted a new Ferrari to replace it, and he chose a 550 Maranello. The first front-engined Ferrari V12 since the Daytona 4, this supercar came packing a 5.5-litre engine that could do 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.2 seconds and had a top speed of 199 miles per hour and came fitted with brown leather seats and a Becker sound system. It's safe to say Pete was definitely hooked on Ferrari. 2001 Ferrari 550 Barchetta. Having enjoyed the 550 Maranello so much, Townsend decided to upgrade and buy a more prestigious version, and once again Eric Clapton came to his aid. Built to celebrate coach builder Pin Inferina's 70th anniversary, the 550s were all sold to Ferrari's preferred clients, and on June 26, 2001, H.R. Owen delivered a limited edition 550 Barchetta to Clapton. We don't know how much Townsend paid Slowhand for the Barchetta, but he was certainly determined to have it, and he got it. Volkswagen Transporter, a sport line. When the Who were first starting out, they travelled the country in a knackered comma band van that needed more repairs than Keith Moon's drum kit. However, much later in life, Townsend purchased his own Magic Bus, a 1960s-style Volkswagen split-screen camper. Pete loved his VW, although after many happy years on the road, he swapped his old combi for an updated ultra-modern Volkswagen Transporter Sportline, which he says he primarily uses to transport guitars and keyboards to and from his studio. 2009, Vespa Scooter. First launched in 1946, it has been a cult mode of transport for nearly 75 years and has always been a classic city bike. In 1973, The Who released their mod opera, Quadrophenia, entirely composed by Townsend, and was the basis for an invigorating coming-of-age movie depicting the defiant, drug fueled mod subculture of early 1960s London, 
starring the anti-hero, Jimmy, a teenager who spends his time knocking around with scooter-driving fellow mods. Pete Townsend's songs I've Had Enough, 515 and Love Rain Over Me provide emotional support throughout the film. Years after the song and film's release, Townsend rediscovered his love of scooters and began riding an updated 1960s style Vespa. For years, Townsend even kept one in his office. 2016, Bentley Mulsanne Speed. After all the fun of Ferraris, Jaguars and Mercedes, Townsend finally settled on a car more suited to his role as a rock elder statesman. His grey Bentley Mulsanne Speed is a 6.75 litre V8 monster that costs more than a quarter of a million pounds. And it certainly lives up to its name, reaching 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 4.8 seconds and a 190 mile per hour top speed. Clocking in at over five and a half meters long, there's plenty of room for Townsend's three grown-up children and two grandchildren. Clearly, if they need a lift, the kids are all right. From his early days driving a hearse, through to his Ferrari phase, and onto a beast of a Bentley, Townsend has certainly owned a collection of cars as unique as the world-class music he's created over the years. The legendary guitarist, singer, songwriter, author, and multiple awards winner Pete Townsend is currently 78 years old. <laughs>